Alright guys, so going into this look, I'm going to start my eyebrows first. I'm using color 4.5 from AJ Crimson. And I'm just going to go in and fill the bottom of my brows. I'm feeling kind of weird right now because I didn't even fill my brow in, but that's okay. I'll just do it afterward. Sometimes going in and creating the arch gives you a really quick, easy guideline. Okay, so after doing both arches, I'm now gonna go in and just blend down. So now I'm gonna go in with some Smashbox concealer. And I'm gonna use that as my base and I'm gonna do my right eye with you guys. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is nude and I'm gonna use that to be the first transition color. I'm just gonna apply that quickly into my crease. It's kind of a soft pinky tone. Soft cool nude. I'm just gonna use that all in through my crease. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go in with milk chocolate. I'm just going to begin to place and feather that inward. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with rich caviar. quarter of the way in, well all the way on the outer third of the eye. Clip my brush off, now I'm just going along the edges and softening any harsh lines of demarcation or anything like that. I want to keep this eye look very very soft and pretty. So now I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit more of dark caviar, or rich caviar, which is a really, really pretty, minky, cool brown. And I'm keeping the intensity on the outer third, but I am blending it in a little bit. You know it's kind of hard sometimes when you're watching somebody do makeup on camera and they're using two and three camera, two and three, shit. I know it's kind of hard when you're watching somebody do makeup on camera and they're using like two and three colors and you're like, okay, the first two colors didn't even show, but it really helps to add to the dimension into the bloom of it all. I always say that. I feel like a dead record, like I'm beating a dead horse, should I say. A little bit, of, uh, a little bit more rich caviar. It really just helps with the blend of it all and if you try doing these kind of looks, like say for instance you look at my eye and the only color you think you see is brown, try just using brown and blend it out and see if you like your results. You may get a good blend, but it's not gonna give you as much dimension as you want. I've tried it before, definitely. I kinda used to suck at eyeshadow in a way um, because I'd always try to skip steps and cut the process. Don't cheat the process. If you find yourself having to cheat the process, just don't do it, honey. It's definitely gonna give you a little bit of drama, but it's spring and things are fresh and just born. So you don't wanna look beat down too harshly. And even if you do, I mean, you can get, you can get a pretty beat without it having to be too heavy. But if that's your thing, that's your thing, girl. Go for it. So on my lid, I'm gonna go in with the color Dusk. Wiping it off, just going in and fading it. I'm blending it high to kind of give my eyelid a bigger appearance, but I'm not gonna cut my crease. I'm just blending it high so you guys can get the illusion of a larger crease. I'm gonna wet my brush from 
adding a tiny bit more dusk. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of sunrise glow and place that in my inner tear duct. Now, if you're doing inner tear duct work and eyeshadow, I think a lot of people think just because it's a very small space that you can just go and throw it in there and it doesn't matter. But when you're doing detailed work like that, you definitely want to pay attention to the way it's shaped, the way it's blended, and the way it lays on your eye. You definitely don't want to just throw it up there. Okay guys, so now we're going to go on with the foundation. And I have absolutely been loving this Farsali primer. It's their Skin Tune Blur Primer. It's like a pore filling primer liquefied. I've been loving this for quite some time now. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to try this, I recommend you go ahead and do so, especially if you have enlarged pores or any texture on your skin, fine lines. I find this to be a really good product. I use it on myself and I've also used it on clients. A little bit goes a long way. And it's just really light and feels good on the face. Hey you guys, I don't want you to be alarmed. This is not Lancome. Do not adjust your computer screens or your phone screens. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear and quite a few of you have been telling me about this for quite some time. I finally took the leap. Well, I don't, know, I don't even wanna say I took the leap. My homie Jazzy sent me this and it's absolutely amazing. I have to do a foundation update video because there are quite a few foundations out there that I've been trying. You guys know that I'm a Lancome lover, like Lancome is bae. Like if you don't like Lancome, like low key, I don't know how much we're gonna get along. <laughs> But this is absolutely, positively one of the best foundations that I've tried in a long time. I may like it even better than found. Um, I may like it even better than Lancome. And the color I am is 7W1 Spice, and it's a nice, deep, warm color. Wait until you see how great this looks on my skin, honey. I'm using an NYX brush, stippling brush, dual fiber. I'll have links in the bottom bar to all these products if you wanna try it. While you're here, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you've learned anything, honey. Look at that, oh my God. And a little bit goes a long way, as you can see. Covers up hyperpigmentation really easily. A lot of times to blend my foundation, I go in circular motions, I go in zigzags, and then afterwards I'll go over and I'll stipple. This foundation may come across a little bit darker than my face, and it is for the most part. It matches my body a little bit better than my face, but because it's summer and because I'm showing so much skin, I usually start to match my foundation to my body rather than my face. Because if I did my face color foundation and then I had all my body out, it just wouldn't look right. Trust me, in the summertime, match your foundation to your body, um, especially if you wear off the shoulder clothes or if you're showing your skin, your arms, anything like that. In the winter, I would go with my face. But what I am gonna do, as I always do, and I always recommend you guys, I'm gonna go throughout the center of my face with more of a face tone foundation. And the foundation I've been using for that is by AJ Crimson, it's from his artist kit and his color in the color 4.5. It is flawless for that. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with the AJ Crimson 4.5 and I'm gonna paint this through the center of my face. And I'm gonna keep it very close to the center and then I'm gonna blend it out. And once I figure out if it's to the fullness that I like, I can add more, whatever the case may be. I don't tend to draw a whole large shape across my face, especially not with a cream foundation because these products are very pigmented, especially the AJ Crimson um, variety. They're very pigmented and you just, you don't need a whole bunch. I apply it and then I blend it out and then you can apply a little bit more. And I like to use a fluffy brush or a stippling brush because it gives you that pointillism effect. Pulls everything out, blends it out, gives it an HD coverage, an HD type of finish. Pull that closely to under my eyes. 
If you have fine lines and wrinkles and you find that your foundation, you either skip or it doesn't really fully sit in the lines, go in one direction and then go in the other to make sure that you get all the products in your fine lines, nooks and crannies, honey. And as you can see, it's not a huge departure from the first foundation, but it does give me levels. It does give my face dimension. And it does also give my face more of a natural look because your face generally isn't one color, generally. I have met some women whose faces are one color. And if your face is one color and you wanna keep it one color, go for it. So this would be my, my base face of foundation without an actual highlight and contour, and I think it looks very natural. I think it looks very natural. Now, when I first put the foundation on, you guys were probably like, um, that suits our cry. Like I said, it matches my body. I'm showing lots of lots of skin. It's summer in LA. And um, if you're showing lots of body, match your foundation to your body. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this foundation, or this concealer from Smashbox. Generally, the concealers I use are from NARS, and I'll go Amand and then Caramel. Right now, I'm doing AJ Crimson, so I'm going 4.5, and then I'm going Medium Cool Peach. Um, I could do a step darker than this, to be honest with you. Um, I could do a, a couple steps darker, but this one actually works out really, really well. I don't want to confuse you guys and start using a million products, because I've done that in the past. But you can go in, that's actually like almost the same color and you can add even a tiny bit more of a highlight, give your face a tiny bit more dimension. Like I said, I don't want to confuse you guys. <laughs> You're like, wait, do I need that? No, you don't need it. Depending on how you like your beat to look, it's optional. Just coming in really closely. I'm not gonna pull it out too far because then that takes away from the effect of the levels up making sure that this doesn't get out of the area that I want it to be and pelt if you have laugh lines around your mouth blow your face up I'm gonna wipe this brush off and further blend it out gonna do right now is my favorite part of makeup this is my two-step bronzer contour bronzer is basically a bronzer for black girls that is a soft contour and it's warm contour for me is cool I feel like shadows are cool so I'm gonna go in with this warm color right here which is a shade or two darker than my skin I'm gonna use it to bronze for my face and that's gonna set a base for the contour and I'm gonna do that first because if I just use a cool contour, it can make my skin look a little muddy because I'm warm. I'm like a honey. I'm warm with a little cool to it, but more warm than cool. So we're just gonna blend that out softly. And sometimes with a, a, a fatter brush, you can get a better effect. I want it to be diffused and natural. You can even bring it onto your cheeks a little bit because it's a warm, natural color, it's just gonna look like your face is just been sun-kissed. You've been sitting in the sun, your cheeks and everything are getting darker. I have very high cheekbones, so that's the area of my face that gets darker first. So now I'm gonna go in with contour, which is cool, and I'm gonna really cut. I'm gonna really cut the face. Okay, I'm gonna only use a little bit because this is very dark. It's also very pigmented. And that's just really, really gonna cut it. Okay. And I'm gonna feather it upward and keep my cheeks high. And don't blend it down too low because it can give you a more masculine shape to your face. If you have your contour too low, this is AJ Crimson, yes. And as you can see, a very little goes a long way. Take it around here and just really cut my drawing face. So, 
for my powder lately I've been using Derma Blend Illuminating Banana in combination with Bobbi Brown Soft Honey. I did find my Derma Blend in Warm Saffron. This color is amazing for women of color. I, I prefer this to Topaz from Ben Nye. I know that's a popular color for women of color. I used to mix Topaz and Banana together because I felt like Banana was a little pale, a little ashy, and I felt like Topaz was too orange. Inter Warm Saffron. It's it's amazing. Also from Derma Blend, one of the best setting powders on the market. Don't at me. Don't at me. Okay. There's no other setting powder that I've tried that has the staying power. I've tried setting powders with beautiful finish. I've tried setting powders that, um, yeah, it's pretty much a finish. Usually when I try new setting powders, they have a beautiful finish. The Laura Mercier has a beautiful finish. Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, beautiful finish. This is more of a setting powder. The finish isn't like luminous or silky or like beautiful, like some of the other powders, but honey, if you want your makeup set, if you want your makeup set, um, get on that Derma Blend. I mean, look, okay? And look how great that color is. Bright enough to give me a brightening effect but not so orange that once my makeup oxidizes, which it will, I don't wanna look like a clay pot, honey. Let's not do that, honey. We're not gonna, you know, look like Coco Montrese, okay? Because your makeup will oxidize, which is why I don't prefer that you use a powder makeup to set your, your makeup. Don't set your makeup with makeup, if that makes sense, you know? The only area of your face that I would say, okay, go ahead, you can set that with makeup, is like your contour. Other than that, I prefer a translucent or a colored translucent powder. This is technically a colored translucent powder because it's not gonna give you too much of a payoff. Once it sets down, it's pretty much gonna disappear. You can reverse highlight your contour to really cut your cheek right here a little bit. If you have a really heavy face, take it easy. I have a heavy face, so I'm not gonna like go ham. Use more of a dense brush. Okay, so now that the beat is pretty much done, we're gonna go in and we're going to, I'm gonna first go in with a tiny bit of Bobbi Brown powder, tiny bit on a fluffy brush to complement my face. And then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of my NYX powder, which is a cool powder, to really pick up that contour. can even slightly bring it up onto your cheek because it's so beautiful and warm it's gonna give you black girl bronze like ooh, where you went you was in the Dominican Republic yes and then I'm gonna go in the tiny bit of my NYX powder which is cool which I don't like to use on its own because it can muddy up a warm face. This is a very deep. Flick it, flick it, flick it. Just like that. And that's it. I'm using espresso in both the Bobbi Brown and the NYX. All right, so I'm gonna go in and do the bottom of my eye. I'm just gonna smoke it out brown, smoky, and very pretty, and very easy going. I'm gonna start with dark brown pencil, and this is from Smashbox, and the color of this is Brood. So now I'm gonna go into the palette, into that rich caviar color, which is a dark, cool brown. I'm gonna smoke it out. So I did decide to go in with a little bit of black 
to really ground that eye look. All right guys, so since I didn't really fill in my eyebrows in the beginning, I'm just gonna go in and draw a few strokes just to give the body a little bit more body. As you know, my eyebrows are microbladed, so I don't need too much. So I'm just going in and adding a little bit more strength. I love these NARS um, eyebrow pencils. I use dark, cool brown. It's the closest to a black without being super black. And I've just been loving a dark brow for the past like year or so. So now I'm just going in and tight lining my top lash line because I'm gonna put on some lashes. I'm trying to steer clear of too much black because I feel like I feel like I use black and I use cat eyes to kind of just like sometimes I just give up and I'm like, okay, black cat eye call it a day. So I'm just making myself not phone it in so much lately. I'm gonna go in with a fresh pair of carbon copies from 11 Lashes. You guys know I love 11 Lashes. Hey everybody, 11 Lashes, my favorite lashes right now. I'm actually getting my individual lashes done in a couple of days by um, Lashes by Kimmy. I feel so special. So now I'm gonna go in with highlighter and I'm gonna use a highlighter that I've been loving lately. This is from Bobbi Brown and it's called Tawny Glow. And it it goes with the eye color, it goes with the lips color without being too matchy matchy. They are all family and this bronzer is like, if you're black and you don't have this bronzer, it's unfortunate, that's all I'm gonna say, it's unfortunate. And this brush from Morphe, the M509. Girl, you better. Just stunning. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just stunning. Just, honey. Honey, this is. So this is the B. Oh, hi. Hi. Somebody come propose to me or whatever. Now. I won't stay long. I won't stay long. Oh, I can hear the same name. She, she all the hairdo, a new style, a new hairdo, a new cut, a new color. Make sure to get your back too, honey. all right guys so this is pretty much it for the look i hope you enjoyed it everything i use will be in the bottom bar if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below honey feel free to donate honey i'm just playing no i'm just being serious no but seriously welcome and welcome back to my channel definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you guys here again as always i want to thank you for commenting rating and subscribing i'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye guys